good morning uh, students so this is a, a database as our topic uh, b and uh, b plus g class so this is aict perano get training program is going on uh, in this session okay so here i am going to discuss that is indexing so last class i have explained what is the file indexing what is the uh, concept of uh, Uh, uh database and how this is a file indexing it is a uh, used to fetch data from the database into your user gui and how it is uh, collaborate with the your queries okay so that concept uh, i have discussed so uh, this is for the kind of continuity of that class so i have uh, a lot of great questions okay this is the purpose of this is uh, better now so that is it uh, to you improve the students to get cleared in your gate examination that is the purpose of this course so we are doing the lot of exercises we are practicing the regularly so you people who want what do want to so concentrate understand the concept and practice regularly so you so i said i want to explain the concept and how to oh, clear this uh, problems and how the gate uh, course answer very easily that is the aim of uh, uh, my session so like that you uh, we are doing that so you are all supporting so here that is i am going to explain what is indexing agenda of this uh, class so indexing so how uh, b3 and b plus 3 it is a like, uh, performing the operation to fetching the data so from the database to user and the how is inserting the data to the database or oh, what what are the searches available this is a easiest to search is advanced search that is we have b plus three search okay searching algorithm so then followed by how hashing will be uh, working so that finally i i i having a lot of questions okay we going to solve this a gate questions okay so i having this uh, easiest question and difficulties uh, level questions i have so that the thing we going to discuss in the end of this session okay so this one hour we will going to segregate it there is a first to uh, 30 to 40 uh, 40 minutes we will discuss the concept so next to, to, to last to 30 to 20 minutes we will discuss the gate questions okay clear okay so now first i will explain that is indexing so then inside of this thing uh, what i told that is three main techniques so conventional index okay so that is a page table you are studied in the operating system itself is a page table so this is a page values are available as a page number okay so that is how is the one page will be a reflected into the page number will reflected into the logical memory and physical memory that things you you all know that is the same thing you saw we following so then followed by b and p plus trees we using so perform better when records are consistently added and deleted the last one it's a hashing okay so conventional index okay what is conventional index can you want tell me okay good good so conventional uh, index that is the uh, uh, one of indexing uh, that is the traditional uh, indexing technique so the, using this we can uh, index your uh, data records okay so inside of your database management system so not only uh, database management system or database concept they using it so all, all the the uh, records management all the record oriented data structure so some other else that is the programming concept they all following conventional indexing so this is a very very important concept in this computer science okay so i want to explain what is index so in that database is, is a uh, index is a set a data structure okay so this concept it is derived from the data structure only i want to uh, repeat one thing the index so we talking about the file index and file followed by the b and b plus c so here that is a index that is a database index so <coughs> data structure that improve the speed of your data so retrieval of the operation on a database table so you know that is a table database is a uh, table only is a collection of table we called as a database collection of records we have your data so that is a one table we having a row and column wise okay so cell all those things that will be a 
uh, are clearly explained in the previous classes. So I getting into the answer. Okay. So database uh, index is a data structure that improve the speed of your data retrieval operation on your data base table at the cost of the additional uh, writes and uh, writing that is a store reading and writing operation on a storage space to maintain the index data structure. Okay. So this definition I take it from the Wikipedia only. So this is a standard uh, definition for index. Okay. So you all can uh, have a different def database in, in we having the a lot of books we have. Okay, so different different words they using, but it will be same thing. Uh, uh, meaning will be your same. Okay, understand fully. Okay. So once again, repeat is a database index a data structure that improve the speed of your uh, data retrieval operation from your database table. Okay. So here that is a types. So types, a lot of types of indexes are available. So that is the uh, spares. That is the uh, pairs uh, that we call it as an one entry per data block. Uh, it is identify the first record of your block and requires data to store. Okay. So that we call it as an uh, pairs. Okay. Next one is the delete. That is one entry per record. So that we call it as an that is the uh, 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 different. So that is an index can be spared on entry per data block. So one entry per record. So it is a don't have to store. Okay. So that is a request data to be stored. The so next it is a respective advantages, pairs, and then the dense. It's occupy much less spaces. It is occupies. A lot of faces. It is a cell uh, oriented concept which uh, can keep more of the main memory. It is a faster access. So, can tell if a uh, given record exists uh, uh, without accessing the file. It is a don't record data to be stored. Okay. So, index uh, based on your primary keys. Okay. Each key value is uh, corresponding to the specific record. Okay. Each key value corresponds to the, a specific record. So uh, what is the meaning of this one? That is a uh, each key values corresponding specific record means it is the uh, primary key. It is only one key that is allocated for that particular record. Okay, so it won't be a duplicated. It's a primary key in and That is uh, those uh, cases. The so table will be stored in it's a primary key. You can use in this batch index. Okay, clear. So table is uh, either non stored or will be uh, stored on uh, another field. So must be that is used in the second type of the index. These are two types of index we are talking. So it will be both are it will be uh, useful. So when we are using your uh, uh, condition that when we are applying this concept into your application. So depending on the application, so both index will be uh, suitable. Okay. So assume that is the. Uh, uh, the pass. Is an index that is the, we having a three uh, different names, Alan, Dano, and the that is the record will be uh, stored inside of your table. So here see that. So such a case that is a sparse record will be uh, useful. So next to example, uh, dense that is the index uh, will be a classified and will be a linked with the other table in, in such a way. So this uh, type it will be a critical or complex so, uh, connected relationship. So such a case we can use this a second type of index. So index based on the other fields. Okay, these are two things we are discussed here till now. So that is the one is the uh, uh, spare net, another one is the dates. Okay, next one that is the other fields. So other fields so we call it as a clustering. So clustering means a group. Okay, each key value can be correspondent to more than one record that we call as a clustering index. So two cases to consider table is stored on the field. So can use this spare index that is the table is stored on the field. So table is either non stored or stored on another field. It's a must use dense index. So such a case that is index based on your other fields. Okay. So spares clustering index. Next one that is a clustering index means that is a group. So in your group that is the 
having you uh, uh, indexing that we call it as pair clustering index. It's a dense clustering index. Same way it can be used inside of your so critical or will be complex relation table. So that uh, we call it as a three thing is a spare and pairs and dense and a spare cluster and dense cluster. So another relationship or maybe having a so save space and add one extra level of indirection. Okay. So such a way we can uh, give the buffer or maybe a, a realization. Okay. So another way this point will be used for to making a speed of your switching of operation. So indexing concept is a speeding up your retrieval and storing operation. So insert and delete in the uh, database view. So insert and delete. Okay. Yeah, in your data structure view, so add and remove. So like that. It's a, a it, uh, it is a depending on your subject, depending of your application, these operation names may be different. Okay. So there is a side command. That is the uh, when is a, we can solve uh, any problem. Okay. So introducing the extra level of indirection expert of your course of your problem, too many indirections. Is a, it is a uh, David John Wheeler. So uh, this course you all know. So does he, so solve any problem in introducing an extra level indirection aspect of the course problem of too many indirections. So this will be make it as a, a code. So that so based on this command, we can uh, easily solve this. We have a self motivate uh, uh, depending on this code, code. So indexing and index. So when index is very large, it makes sense. Okay. So uh, when index is a very large, it makes sense. Okay. So to index the index, so that is the one thing. So okay, if for index, we having index such a way that is indexing the index. That is a, a line we will define like that. Index the index that we call as indexing the index. So two level or three level index are available. The so index at top level is called master index. Okay. So normally it's a pair index they using. So index at top level is called master index. Index at top level is called master index. Clear? So such a way that, so we can index the critical records. If we have a huge number of data are available, or if you, uh, the database records will be in large set or large collection, or you call it as an in technical name that is a cluster. So such a huge or critical or uh, in your uh, real trend that is a big data or maybe huge data. So all will be uh, derived from this concept only. Okay. So this is how we can index in the index. So that easily we can is an example. So that is the old um, telephone diary. So that is the uh, they having the lot of numbers and they having the index in the index itself. It goes hundred and hundred or thousand pages. Okay. So more than that uh, kind of records. That is a very simple way. That is the indexing the index will be a uh, uh, simplifying your uh, search speed. So, so this is the example for indexing an index concept. Clear? So that oh, I am uh, giving you some other example in, uh, for the master index. Okay. So master index will be your uh, first index. It will be a guiding the some other uh, uh, index which is available in your uh, record set. Okay. That we call as an indexing or master indexing index inside of the master index. So next uh, two levels uh, we have to uh, uh, recall. So that is the uh, uh, we call it as an outer index or inner index. Okay. So outer index is always it is called as a top index or a master index. The inner index will be uh, that is the inside it's going to uh, redirect your records or maybe a data. So that we call it as an inner index. So last one that is a, which is the data we going to delete or we going to insert. So are we going to uh, retrieve such a uh, call it as a that data blocks we call it as a data blocks. Okay, clear this diagram will be a source that is a two level of your record fetching with the help of indexing inside of your database. So 
uh, how that is logically is right that is how is a b and b plus c hashing will be a used for this first okay so maximum that is the uh, one of the best algorithm best methodology for searching so b plus c okay so pre order and post order travel thing that we already you know in the data structure so same thing we going to apply so in a different manner okay clear so that is updating index table so can be uh, painful or it may be a silver bullet you no know, silver bullet like that we can call so updating index table will be a very 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 important because without updating a index table you cannot find your data records in your correct manner it may be goes wrong so whenever is a data is changed so regularly we have to update the index table then only this data will be a Okay, uh, fish stand will be reused regularly. Okay, so clear. So now only we are getting into the our exact concept that is a B three and B plus three. Okay. So B three and B plus three. So B. <coughs> the motivation so to have dynamic index structures okay so that is a index structure that can be evolved when records are added and deleted so not in the case of static index so this uh, uh, indexing structure will be a uh, very very important particularly it may be a dynamic means is uh, when record is deleted when record is inserted the so indexing structure will be a uh, dynamically updated So such a case that will be a, it will be a giving the lot of uh, uh, accuracy of data access and data retrieval concept because of that we are moving to this. So next one when you are talking about the database uh, that is optimization or normalization concept will be very very uh, important. So optimization of, of such in a data devices or maybe data block. So both the trees, these are B trees and B plus trees are used. Okay. So are not binary, okay? So that will be very very important. Binary trees are available. So objective is increasing the branching factor to reduce the number of devices or number of uh, nodes in a hierarchical order, okay? So this we call it as in the 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 branch factor should be increased. Okay? So next, what is the difference between that is a binary and then be the hierarchical order? That is higher order. so it is a very very important see there is a difference because of this a lot of students or my previous batch students are get confused in this okay so what is binary what is higher order tree so binary tree is always that is a designed for a, a in memory that is a in memory search so then compared to the higher order tree that is a designed for search data on your block devices okay so designed for searching data on block devices next one that is the uh, difference you may see that is searching the data in the particular data blocks that you going to search but here that is inside of your entire memory it's a base so that is a next so try to minimize the number of memory access so here is a try to minimize the number of device access so this is the uh, difference a simple difference so coming to the your uh, binary concepts tree Okay, so binary uh, uh, concept. So binary uh, concept that is you, you all know that is the, the generalization of binary uh, search tree. So not binary trees we going to use that is the uh, B stands for um, uh, pair. Okay, this is not a binary. Okay, 
so the analysis is also very very important so some students they thinking about the b mean binary tree binary tree so so searching only binary search but we have tree we not using the binary tree so here that is the name is the b stands for here so till now that is students are thinking about this a b tree means so binary tree is not that so searching is a binary but what is the he tree is that is the bayer tree okay okay sometimes it is it is the developed person that is a uh, computer scientist name we are using so design for searching data stored on a block oriented device so that is the purpose is a design for searching a data stored on a block oriented device it's a very small b tree we can take it okay so that is the uh, bottom nodes are leaf nodes okay so all their own pointers okay null pointers also available okay so here 7 16 and uh, will be a, that is the your parent node so the child nodes are 1 2 5 6 9 12 20 and 18 21 okay so this we call it as an uh, child or maybe a leaf node if you take it is a root branch like that we call it as a leaf last one so leaf node will be last here that we they donated uh, that concept we call it as and they uh, specified or uh, denoted in the of a uh, leaf node because of that that is a we take it is a root parent leaf concept okay clear so this is a very small b tree the next in the reality so in your tree uh, pointer this so a pointer concept will be very very important when you talking about the indexing concept so here that is the uh, a tree pointer so key always that is a key will be available for a particular on data pointer next that is your uh, tool leaf okay so that data pointer denoting your leaf node so from your parent node so key will be used to searching that particular data node or maybe uh, your leaf node so such a way this uh, uh, thing will be uh, giving a clear idea about what is the key what is a data pointer how that is the leaf node will be connected to your branch node so this is the uh, diagram will be simply we can identify so first uh, key data pointer 7 and then key pointer that is the it's going to data pointer uh, connected with the your leaf node 16 if it doesn't have any data in the leaf node that will be marked as a null so this is the way we can um, call the data records from your branch node so oh, that will be a goes to the country the root node okay so this leaf node is a null mean that they pointed as a null so null pointer they use okay so this we call uh, in reality it will be looking like this so next to organization so each non terminal nodes can uh, Have a, a variable number of style nodes. Okay. Each non-terminal node and have a, a variable number of style nodes. Must all be in a specific key range. Okay. So must all be in a specific key range. That is the, uh, uh, one of the important key point when you are organizing your indexing concept or maybe doing your indexing concept. This is a very, very uh, notable point. Must all be a specific key range. So number of child node or the number of the, uh, your uh, hierarchical child node. So usually is a vary between D and 2D. So that is a here D mean that is a distance. Okay, small D. It is a distance. It always in your uh, uh, this kind of key concept is a searching concept that we have uh, distance. so the split nodes that uh, would otherwise have a continued is a 2d plus 1 child nodes so when you are merging your nodes that contain the less than d child nodes that can be uh, accessible very easily so this is the way of uh, we are organizing so all the data uh, nodes with the over or maybe your child leaf nodes with your parent node okay so searching the tree okay so uh, key uh, key is the uh, uh, is less than 7 so next keys are not greater than 16 okay 
so that uh, way that is your uh, searching methodology is a uh, it is a key level so not a uh, 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 so that is the uh, behind the work what we are looking for a data so in between we have in so that case that will be it can be very easy to access the condition is seven less than keys and less than key less than 16 so that is the very very important one when you are looking for your searching your data in your uh, one key okay So here see that that is seventeen and sixteen are values or data of that is your pattern node. In we having the leftmost or uh, leaf that is the or uh, one two five six then another leaf seven nine and twelve and the rightmost leaf is the eighteen and continue. So this condition is satisfied. So that the case that will be a very useful uh, structure to access the data. So next, balancing the B tree. So the objective is to ensure that all the terminal nodes to be at the same depth. Okay. So that is the balancing. So balancing means that is the uh, all the nodes will be same level or maybe a same uh, uh, attributes of levels. That will be a concept of the balancing tree levels. So one side is a very deep, one side is a very small deep. Such a case, this access mechanism won't be your in your flexible manner. It won't be your easy. It will be very difficult. It may be a time which takes time. So automatically, when it's a tax time, that is you know, automatically it will be a reducing the your uh, performance of your system. So automatically, so we are losing the time. So we take it as an example. Searching the data from your website, so always the server will be not responding in a in a particular a minute or second. So the website um, uh, a viewer or client won't be accessing that because it's taking a long time or maybe it's taking so um, delay. So to fetching a data mean that is a by a viewer, they won't be view that. So same thing we are following. So balancing a bit, the objective is to ensure that all the terminals supposed to be in the same depth. Okay. So next insertion operation. So insertion and deletion on the selection process will be the same. So but it will be uh, speeding up the search, speeding up your data retrieval. So such a thing that does the uh, insertion deletion will be following the that is a B. And B plus concept. Here we talking about the B. It's so assumed that is a tree where each node can be can contain three pointers. That is a step one, step two, step three. See that. So first one, two, and one, two, and three. Split into the middle node. So it's when always look that split into the middle node. In the middle node, it becomes the your parent node for this two leaf one and three. Such a way that that we can make a tree structure. Okay. So it is the uh, simplest way to insert a data. So same thing we have to follow. So same thing you say if we are having one, two, three. So two becomes the uh, uh, that that is your branch node. Always two uh, one and three becomes automatically leaf node. Okay. So this is the way of insertion in your uh, database concept along with the B and B plus C. So it will be a uh, giving the smooth way to access data in a minimum time. So also, it is reduce the time complexity of the system and improve the accuracy of the search and will be a retrieving process and also insertion process.
Uh, this is the a uh, way of that is putting a node in a middle. Okay. So next step four. So you having so now that is a two and three, three and four. How you going to split the so such a way that that is your so one and two, three, four, five comes to so split move up for so that I am find that way. So two and four that is split here three and four and five. So I split middle node is so a four becomes higher order. So that we call the sum two and four that will be a, your parent of this uh, a child one three and five. So clear? So this is the way of inserting it and move up. So sixth step again. See that four, five, and six. Here what are you going to do? Followed by seven also it's inserted. So automatically. Four, five, six, and seven will be in your list. So that the split means six. We have to move up. Okay. So six, you have to move up. So such a way that that is a one, two, three, and four is a two, and four will be a uh, root node for the one and three, and four will be a root node for six. So such one so splitting and promoting up. That is a six and four and seven is available. So that. Six will be a segregate node somewhere. So six is a parent node for five and seven and two and four will be a sum. Okay. So this is a, uh, we call it as a split of move up concept. That is a way in this way that will be a touching concept in a B two it is a managed. Okay. So next to followed by that split after the uh, promotion. So if you all the uh, split is over. Is the last split of two, four, and six will be a parent node. One, three, five, seven will be leaf node. So that how it's going to split. So four will be a move up. So such a case, this is the four will be a center for the all the records. So four move up as a root node. Then six will be identified by uh, uh, next level, first level parent node from for the four, and leaf node is seven and four. So this hierarchy we are managing in a beautiful. Okay, it will be giving the smooth way to accessing the record from the leaf to the root. So next is a basic operation that is a split and pro promote. Uh, promote. So uh, when trying to add uh, to full load, so such a way that is a five and six, seven, six will be became the root, seven and uh, five will be a leaf that is. Split mode will be center level. Okay, that is why I want to recall the this concept again. So promote must insert a root mode of split, not higher up. Okay, so may may require the new split. So, so this is the pro promote and the uh, next to, uh, one that is the split. So these are two basic operations we have. So next we uh, after that the B tree we are moving to the B plus tree. So variant of our B trees. Okay. Two types of nodes are available. It's internal nodes and other other one is a leaf node. It's a internal nodes we including root node and parent node all things. So leaf node will be a data node. It will be available in the bottom of your tree. So internal nodes having a node data of pointers, but it's a leaf node having the uh, data pointers as well as the your connections so of data. So metadata are available. And uh, so no in tree or pointers are available. We are a uh, 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 Sony uh, example. So uh, last previous slide we seen that. So this will be a uh, B plus tree. Okay. So see that the uh, B, B plus tree nodes. Okay. So it's a little diff uh, different from that is a B tree. So here that is only keys are available. So not data uh, pointers are available. Okay. So this data pointers will be uh, available uh, inside of your next level of your. Uh, information uh, hierarchy. So we get the data point is available in that. So it is. I want to uh, compare the B and B plus G. So how that is the denoted table. Okay. See this. This is in the reality. It look like this in a B tree. So uh, another uh, tree that is a B plus G. So a little bit uh, so, uh, uh, similar. Little bit similar, but it will be a different approach we are following. It's a different approach we are following. So different approach we are following. 
so that is a b plus tree node uh, followed uh, the a key and data pointer inside of a next level of the operation okay so coming to the more about the internal nodes see that is the key is always represent the a k so pointers of your tree it's always represent the p okay so the condition now i i want to take it as a condition so less than of the uh, p1 and k1 so it is coming to the p1 n minus 1 and k minus 1 and until the pn so <clears throat> these keys are ordered okay so these keys are ordered means for this thing we are we are rewriting as a sub tree pointed as a x means so x the less than uh, are equal to k i for the i less than or equal to i less than or equal to n minus 1 this is the formula for this uh, tree structure value for the x uh, when we are using the gale i x is uh, greater than k uh, i minus 1 for that the condition is uh, one less than or equal to i or less than or equal to n such a way we can make it the internal node operation in a uh, similar manner what we are discussing in a uh, uh, b plus plus okay so one important uh, condition that is how we take it as a warning so when we are talking about uh, b plus tree we have to consider or make it a look on this tree so that is the uh, authors or uh, maybe a creator of this tree for each value x in a sub tree pointer at the at by tree pointer p uh, i okay so then followed by that is the x greater than or equal to k i minus 1 for a uh, one uh, less than or equal to i Or less than or equal to n. So x less than uh, k1 for the i1. So less than or equal to i or less than or equal to n minus 1. So this changes changes the key level or uh, key values that is promoted when an internal node is split. Okay. So this will be a one of the important warning or maybe call to action that is the uh, notable point when you are talking. So advantages. So removing unneeded or maybe unwanted pointers allows to pack more keys in each node. So removing the unneeded uh, pointers allows to pack a more keys in a each node. So higher fan out or more a given node size is normally one block. Okay, they having the all keys presented in the leaf board. It allows us to build a linked list of all keys. Okay, so it will be. Uh, you have a more advantage when you are looking into the next level. So if the M is not ordered of your tree, okay. So such a way that we can uh, re-execute uh, our uh, things in a B plus tree. Every internal node has at the most M children. So every internal node has at most M children. So every internal node has at least M divided by two children. So the expert root that we call as an expert root. It may be goes. Your uh, branch to your leaf, the expected root we have the root that has at least two children. If it is not a leaf node, so such is another uh, important one property. So every leaf has most m minus k. That is also one of your uh, beautiful uh, way to approach your leaf node. So every leaf has at most n minus one k. So k will be important uh, one. To access the over leaf, so that the m minus one we can put it. So, an uh, internal node with the k children, it has to be represented the k minus one keys. Okay, all leaves appears in the same level. Okay. That is another way of uh, approaching your your uh, leaf node. So, these are the easiest way to uh, identify the leaf node in your the rewrite. Right? This we call as the properties of the uh, b plus g and b plus plus g. So a best uh, or maybe uh, we call it as a best cases and worst cases of B plus T. So B plus T for degree M and uh, height H will be stored. So most of your uh, problem they depending on this one. So at most the M power n minus one into M minus one equal to M power H minus M records. So mostly this will be a uh, used for In a real-time process or real-time applications. So next one is at last that is at least is a two into that is m divided by two over 
power h minus 1 records they will be called as a least or medium or oh, worst case conditions is that clear is worst case and best case when we talking about the database management system particularly p so this will be a best case worst case condition we have to search that is a dev search of k return three search so we uh, use a different method that is k uh, comma root the key underscore search of k divided uh, uh, k uh, comma root okay so such as the div search uh, of k comma node so if node is a leaf return node so otherwise we have to uh, check the key values so key less than or equal to uh, uh, less than or k values or maybe if zero means if the return key Uh, values along with the three search method key search of key comma p or not okay so else if okay so if not that is again we have to search the uh, plus one of the node okay so return same that is the k comma is a p i plus one so until this goes uh, end of the distance it's a reach so so deep uh, at last that is the uh, end if that is a k underscore d less than or equal to k return c search oh, okay so k comma b of d plus 1 so that is all process will be continued the chain and then it's returning the uh, value of the leaf node to the your router so that case we can searching will be easy if same process will be repeated for insert and deletion where it's inserted where is a deleted so we have to split or maybe we, we have to Uh, promote or so all the process will be depending in this way okay so insertion so div insert and so find a target leaf uh, we denoted in the uh, capital letter l okay so capital letter l then if l has less than m minus 2 mean this entry is called as a added as a entry so next l that is allocation or allocate new leaf l allocate new leaf l so else allocate the new leaf l so pick the uh, m divided by 2 a uh, uh, problem so this is the highest key level of flow your node l it's a move up to say l power 1 so insert uh, your key so highest key of a l and there is a corresponding address leaf into the parent node so if the parent is full then split up the all the added uh, uh, nodes in your middle key uh, to its parent node so such a way that we can uh, insert a value or maybe a data node so if that is a parent is full so if uh, you are not achieving the your uh, uh, target so repeat until your parent is found not null so this way the insertion operation is performing so in uh, in b plus 3 along with the this kind of important uh, procedures so deletion so search insert followed by deletion we are going to see now is a def uh, delete of records okay so there is a locate target leaf and what the record we need to uh, remove so that we have to decide so after that that is a target leaf and remove leaf will be identified if the leaf is less than or half full so we have to consider this first so try to redistribute and take from the sibyl so sibyling is the process of addressing node with this same parent so if the redistribution fails again we have to relook into this following two things so merge leaf node and sibyling delete entry to one of the two uh, major leaves and merge Could be probability of or there is a probability of to the node. So this way we can delete node, insert node, and we can search a node in the three ways using the B plus C architecture or B plus C concept. Students, I think it is understandable to you. Then only we can solve the gate questions or gate questions very easily. Okay. So I will uh, explain the simple insertion concept along with the uh, B plus three of level three, okay, or maybe three, three. Step one, one 
step 2 1 and 2 step 3 1 and 2 followed with third node will be inserted the split node in the middle so that is it will become your uh, branch node for the leaf node 1 and 3 so that is it so 1 2 and 2 3 4 like that we take it is our same thing it is a split and move up split and move up. so 2 and 4 becomes the your uh, parent node for the leaf node Two, three, four, and five. And take it to six. Okay, split six. That is it. Now five and six. Okay, split seven. Okay. So this way you can make it as a three architecture. So that is continued by this one. That is now that is a two and four. That is six will be separately promoted. So six for it having the leaf five and six and seven. So then move up the four in the top root four, and as the all will be a merge. So such a case split after the promotion. Okay. So four will be a top root node, and the two will be a first uh, branch. Then followed by one and three. Then leaf nodes of uh, two. Then followed by the your branch node will be a six. Then followed by the five and seven will be a so leaf node for the six. So such way this uh, hierarchical order will be arranged with the help of the B plus two. Okay, so B plus uh, trees are used by these kinds of concept. That is a NTFS file system. So NTFS file system then followed by uh, concepts called uh, NSS, then XFS, JFS, and RIFFS and DFS file systems and metadata indexing concepts. They are using this uh, B plus tree concept. So B plus. Uh, The concept was a more strongly it is the direction to the BFS that is a binary file system. Is a particular these are the companies they are uh, using this uh, their own product. So IBM uh, DB2, so Microsoft to SQL Server, Oracle Aid, Sybase, SDA, and SQL Lite of our table uh, indexing. So these are the companies they are using the B plus two more effectively to managing their records and databases for their. own uh, softwares and software applications so this is the way we have in the uh, b plus trees are used by the uh, big companies okay. so next followed by this variant so what are the interesting variant we have seen that can simplify entire uh, deletion by never merging nodes that have less than m divided by 2 and 3 so that is a not on string okay So 2015 is a first which is available. So from that, uh, uh, requires some more space. It seems to be a responsible for it. So this all we call it as and that is the uh, uh, B and B plus G followed by Async. Okay. So Async will be a one of the uh, beautiful concept. Okay. So nowadays all will be a compare for comparison operation that is. The hashing algorithm is used. So that is a hash function is very important. So define m target address the buckets. So create a hash function. It's a h of k that is a defined for all possible values of the key. K and returns an uh, integer value h such that so zero less than or equal to h less than or equal to m minus one. The key is always it's a uh, handled by the as function and will be a uh, so managing the all data sets or data records in the memory. So the idea, so uh, take it as a as function is the uh, bucket address. So that is a key will be your input. Then your operations are done inside of this. This is the idea. So bucket size, okay. So each bucket can consist of a one or more blocks. So then there is a need to some way to convert the hash values into the large logical block address. So the so when we are using the bucket size, so it is size of your container. So that will be logical address will be logical address block will be as suitable. So then that is we have to convert the hash value here. Yeah. As block or logical block address, selecting a large bucket, it means will have to search the uh, contents of your targeted bucket buckets to find the desired records. If search time is uh, critical 
and the database frequently updated so we should consider sorting the records inside the each buckets so this will uh, locate into the buckets so next one is a bucket organization so two possible solutions are uh, available for to managing the uh, buckets so buckets is nothing but is a container it's a how we are holding your data inside of your database so here that we call as a bucket so this can be a possible of solution to handling your uh, buckets or container so that contains records when bucket is full records goes to an overflow bucket so bucket containers pair on value values that is a key and address so which bucket is full or which bucket is overflow which bucket is empty we have to check it out then only we have to make operation insertion deletion all those things okay so this will be your depending on your b and b plus b then asking also that we use okay for we are talking about the indexing concept in database management system so see that is a buckets contain records means it's looking i assume each bucket contains two records okay so overflow means which is the container it's overflow that will be looked into this or will be shipped into this some other bucket a bucket contain two records okay so can uh, many more keys than the records it will be a key will be uh, it's a duplicate key or maybe key will be not used for the some other thing because of that it may be a wrong entry so that we have to consider this operation very carefully so finding good as function so you distribute records evenly among the buckets then that we call it as an good function good asing function how to to provide a uh, uh, record to the uh, buckets equally okay so then only this operation will be neat and smooth to access and delete and insert and all those process so the bad as function will have too many overflow buckets and too many empty uh, near empty buckets so that we call it as a bad function so one is a free another means a huge it's a like like our town bus the two down buses equally is going uh, one by one it's going into uh, our place to punamalli means the first bus is always full second bus will be very empty so this uh, algorithm is uh, applied in such a case the time keeper or maybe a summer uh, person using the this uh, kind of analogy uh, that may be avoided okay so the, this we have to look at and in our government it can make it into this kind of intelligent system artificial intelligence is applied to this uh, transport system it may be useful for uh, reduce the crowd so same thing will be database management system as well we have to regularly monitor your data insertion and deletion so and then the how it will be a uh, insert into the uh, your databases so if the as function it will be a evenly among the buckets so if that is not a uh, good means the bad functions it will be having get too, too many overflows buckets and too many empty nearby the buckets okay so this is a finding good functions or as function is very important then good sorting point if the key is in a numeric okay that is a very is if instead of you are putting a, as a, a b c d like that so numeric keys or numerical indexing will be a very uh, Full for making your your buckets. If the number of buckets is a power of two, this means it's a selecting log two m. So the significant bits of key. So otherwise, it's a transform the key into a numerical value. So divide the key value or divide divide that value by the number of buckets. So uh, looking the uh, further into the as as work as the best number of buckets in a primary number. if performance matters is a considered okay so that is the selecting the load factor okay dynamic assing so it's a two technique uh, extensible assing the uh, linear assings are available okay these are the example problems it away i am going to see how that is the uh, our problem is working along the real time of that exam that is a consider b plus q in which that is a maximum number of keys in a node is a 5 so what is the minimum number of keys uh, any non root node it is a question is asked in the gate computer in 2010 and also is the 
uh, last year also this person is as one two three four. The solution is assuming the order of the duplex p as as p. So that is pointer. So maximum number of p will be a p minus one. So as it will be given that so p minus one equal to five. So p equal to six. So that way, therefore, the minimum or number of p is so cell p divided by two minus one that we call it as and two. So this is the answer we call it as and solution for this. So two is the answer in that operation. Okay, so clear. So this is the uh, question is asked. Then we consider the another one. The B or tree of order four is a uh, is built from the catch by ten successive instructions. So ten successive uh, instructions. So uh, that uh, concept is maximum number of nodes split operations by many taken places between three, four, five, six. So sub so B three adding order four can have maximum number of three keys. So maximum number of three keys. So that here that we call it as an answer A. Okay. So I want to recall this again. So asking under B and B plus B. So that is a so dynamic asking. So it will be very useful. So two technique that is extensible asking that is a linear asking. So extensible asking, uh, there is a represent the as values as a bit string that is a one zero zero one, so zero one. So then that is the zero zero one zero zero one. So introduce the additional levels of your in direction the direction one entry per key level or key value. So multiple entries can pointed uh, to the same bucket. So this is the real time uh, dictionary. So zero triple zero 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 one zero one zero 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 one one zero zero one zero one like that. We are having answer. So key uh, value will be identified like this. Okay, equal to zero one zero. Key equal to zero. Records with the key zero that is a D equal to one. Then D records key will be D equal. So both buckets are the same depth, so it is nothing to it. It will be extensible as. Okay. So when we are splitting this into this ways, that is, see how many zero zero records are available, how many zero one records are available, how many zero one zero records, how many zero one zero records are there. We have to split into that, then count the distance of that record. So this is another extensible as. The explanation that is the MSB is the most significant base is it zero. So other than the most significant bit is one. So depth of the bucket is a one. So this is the way we can assign a value to the MSB. The next explanation that is each time the bucket overflows. So that the case we have to assume this is the first bucket to overflow. So why it's looking like that? We we'll added the new bucket containing records with the MSB of the hash value zero one. So other way that is the older bucket will be kept records and MSB values can be a uh, zero zero. Okay. The so depth of your piece uh, two buckets is two. So explanation three. So come to at the uh, given time, the hash table uh, uh, will contain the buckets at different depth. So in such a way. That is, each bucket will include the record uh, of uh, its depth. Okay, just a few bits. Okay. So, uh, discussion extensible as allows as table uh, contents to grow by splitting buckets to shrink by merge buckets. Okay. So, linear as uh, does not add the additional levels of interaction. So, reduce you reduces by but not eliminated overflow buckets. So, use the few. A family of as function that is with the M mode M on M K mode a two M K mode four M. Okay, so let me again the right hand side that is the K of K H of K H um J plus one of K H uh, I plus of 
Okay. So basically, no reason, sir. How it works? That is such. Uh, we are in a bucket. So K H I of K equal to K more M. So when any bucket for so create an overflow bucket. So create a new bucket at your location M. So after the as function. So this is the contents of your bucket. So we we now we split uh, between two buckets as a zero and M. So you, uh, when the second bucket overflow, create an overflow bucket. Okay. So then there's a create a new bucket at location M. So such a way that we can construct them. So advantages. The okay. as table uh, goes linearly. So we split buckets in a linear order. So bookkeeping is very simple. So there is a bucket zero means how we are offering bucket. C S plus one is half of one. So we're getting into this so again uh, the question for the as function. So the same thing, but as the uh, this also asked in this uh, same on uh, case. Uh, yeah, there's a what is the maximum number of keys of non root mode? So one, two, three, four. They ask the solution. Assume the record of key plus two. As per the maximum number of key levels, that is it uh, will be a key man minus one. As it will be applying your that your S C I L. So P divided by two turns into minus one equal to that is a very very exciting question. We will get to the answer is B. B that is a second one. So next one is a A uh, uh, concept called we call it as a B tree. Order of four. It is a built from the scratch of the successive instruction. So with the splitting operation that may take place. Okay. So three, four, four, five, six. The solution of this one is a B tree. I mean the order of four. I do a maximum number of three keys, so the answer will be a A. Okay, so this is the A. So this is the uh, concept of uh, B and B plus three with the concept of I and M. I I I hope you are understand the concept. You will do well in this concept inside of your data exam, upcoming data exam. I uh, appreciate all the students who are uh, coming for to attending this class. Okay. So thank you for all. Okay, uh, I will follow the next concept, next topic in the upcoming classes. We can solve more problems. We can achieve your good marks in your exam. So thank you for all.